Hey everyone, here are a whole bunch of IVF medications in a flash. The first being birth control, and you will take these just to quiet down the ovaries. In conjunction, you might take this together or overlap with Lupron. And this is just a clear liquid. It's administered subcutaneously with this itty bitty half inch needle. Lupron is used to prevent ovulation from occurring. Another drug commonly used to prevent ovulation is Ganarelix. Ganarelix already comes pre-filled in a syringe and all you need to do is administer it subcutaneously. Now let's move on to the stimulation medications. So these are the meds that basically pump up your ovaries and then we try to get as many eggs as possible. I have two different boxes here of Folistim. They're just different colors because they just have different amounts of medications in them. So this one having 300 international units and that one having 600. So this is the actual cartridge with the medicine in it and that goes into this Folistim pen. And at the end of the Folistim pen, you are going to screw on this half inch needle and then you'll administer the Folistim subcutaneously. Other types of stimulation drugs are Menopure and Brevel. These are often used together, or you can also use Menopure with Falstim. Really depends on your protocol. If you take a look at each one of these, it comes with vials of water and also vials of powder. And the same goes for Menopure. You have your waters and your powders. And these basically get mixed together and then they are injected subcutaneously. So sometimes together with your injections, you will also take other medications, one of them being dexamethasone. I remember this one kept me up, so just watch out. And then letrozole is another one, and these are both taken orally, so easy peasy. And then when you are ready to get all those eggs, you want to mature them, and that's done with Novril. So inside will be a vial of water and then a vial of powder. So similar to the um, Brevel and Menopir, you need to mix them together and you will inject it subcutaneously. I know the box says intramuscular, but my RE said it was okay to do it um, subcutaneously. And since you're doing a cycle, your body isn't producing um, progesterone naturally. So there's typically three different ways that you can get your progesterone one of them being a capsule, and this is a suppository. Another way that you can get your progesterone is in a gel format, and this is Cronone. And finally, you have progesterone oil. So this one here is probably my least favorite because you need to inject this with the one and a half inch needle and that's an intramuscular injection. So don't worry, it's not too, too bad. So there are all the different types of progesterone. Um, and then if you need it, sometimes you might need estrogen patches, like so. This is the generic, also known as the Vivaldot. So that's it. I just went through a whole bunch of drugs in the span of four minutes. Um, hope that made it less worrisome for you if you're thinking about going through a cycle. Good luck.